So I recently passed the GitHub Actions certification. And in this video, I wanted to share what you can expect on the exam, the resources I use to prepare, and overall my experience with this certification. This year, GitHub announced four new certifications that you can take. And I already have the GitHub Foundations. And this video is about GitHub Actions, but you also have the GitHub Advanced Security and GitHub Administration. Hi, I'm Rishab, and this is Rishab in Cloud. So let's get started with the GitHub Actions certification. I took this exam on 23rd of July, and I passed. And this exam is specifically for DevOps engineers. So if you look at the exam guide, you can see that it mentions this exam is designed for DevOps engineers, software developers, and IT professionals with intermediate level of experience in GitHub Actions, including workflow creation, automation, and CI/CD pipeline management. So if you are familiar with GitHub, you know, there's ability to set up CI CD pipelines and automated workflows using GitHub Actions. And if you have some kind of experience with GitHub Actions and you want to showcase that this exam is for you, there are four domains that are covered in this exam. Domain one is author and maintain workflows, which covers 40% of the exam weightage. Second domain is consume workflows, covering 20%. And then you have 25% of domain three, which is author and maintain actions. Domain four is manage GitHub actions for the enterprise. Now, if you go to this link, which is resources.github.com slash learn slash certification, you'll be able to access this official study guide. And you can also get recommendations on the resources that GitHub offers. So you have Microsoft Learn, which was my primary resource for preparation for this certification, but you also have a LinkedIn learning course that you can take. So looking at the Microsoft Learn collection, you have around six modules. I almost went through all of them and it was enough to kind of cover the topics that I was not familiar with. So for me, I haven't used GitHub Actions for like enterprise and some of the features that are offered in the enterprise version have never had the hands-on experience. So it was good to know about those features. So along with the Microsoft Learn collection, I also used the GitHub Actions documentation. So you can go to docs.github.com slash actions and this page will load. I highly recommend going through all of the documentation. If you cannot, for some reason, at least cover the docs for features that you're not familiar with or haven't used a lot. Another tip I would like to give is you need to have hands-on experience with GitHub Actions, either setting up the workflows or having it or having CI CD pipelines for your own project. I think that was another thing that really helped me during this exam is I have prior experience as DevOps engineer and I have used GitHub Actions for many of my projects on GitHub. So yeah. Two resources. One is Microsoft Learn and the other is the GitHub Actions official docs. I think those two are enough. And as for the timeline on how much time it took for me to prepare for this certification, I took about 10 to 12 days to go over the Microsoft Learn modules and also practice it by setting up a repo and playing with the actions itself. And those 10 to 12 days were also spent reading the GitHub Actions documentation. And as I said, there's also the LinkedIn learning course, but Free Code Camp also has a free course. So if you go to YouTube, type Free Code Camp GitHub Actions, you'll see that Andrew Brown has a GitHub Actions certification full course, which is around three hours long. So you can take that too as a resource to prepare for this exam. Now, when it comes to the fees for this exam, it is 99 US dollars, but I had a free voucher. So I attended the MVP summit early this year. And during the MVP summit, we were offered a free GitHub certification exam voucher, which we could use against any of these certifications. As I said, I did the foundations exam already. So I decided to use that voucher for my GitHub actions exam, but also Microsoft runs get certified challenges and here's one that they ran during the month of May. So the Get Certified with GitHub Challenge also offered free vouchers. As you can see here, there was a timeline about different sessions which were gonna be held. So 
not only by attending these sessions, you learn about these tools, but they also help as a resource for your preparation. And at the end, you receive a voucher that you can use against any of the certification exams you want to take. So look out for these challenges from Microsoft. You can Google Get Certified Challenge and see if there are any challenges that are active at the moment. I don't know of any of the challenges that are active at the moment, but it is another way to cover the exam fees, which is 99 US dollars. For the preparation, as I said, I use Microsoft Learn as my primary resource and GitHub Actions documentation as another resource. Again, I want to emphasize that I do have prior experience as a DevOps engineer and I do have many CI CD pipelines set up for many of the projects that I have on GitHub. Talking about the exam itself, there will be 70 to 75 questions on the exam. And the questions that I found challenging specifically for this exams was GitHub Actions for Enterprise. Again, this comes from me having very less experience with the enterprise version of GitHub and what all features, you know, comes with it. Again, I feel like going over the documentation did help, but I found the questions to be challenging for me personally. Within these questions, I also found the options were a bit confusing. Again, this comes from, you know, lack of knowledge and hands-on experience certain questions I thought like two or three options were really close to the correct answer and hence that uh, confused me a bit. The other questions that I found challenging was security for GitHub Actions. Uh, you know, you have different roles that you can set up within your GitHub repositories. Make sure you go through all of them, what kind of permissions they have, and also, you know, how you can make your actions secure, you know, by using secrets and environment variables and what are the best practices to do that and talking about environment variables there are some default environment variables within github workflows and actions so make sure you know them this all is included in the github actions documentation so go over those and try to memorize them because you will be asked about these on the exam the result was that i passed the exam you get an email as soon as you end your exam and it has the result and you also get a credly badge and also kind of tells you know what is the skill or knowledge that this certification entails so you can share this publicly on your linkedin or twitter but yeah that was kind of the overall experience with the certification and the resources that are used. Another resource that I came around was this site called github certification practice exams. Again I haven't used this site a lot but I found this through the community so you can see all of the four GitHub certification, uh, you can do some practice questions. Um, so if we go with 20 questions for the GitHub actions and click start, you can take the practice exams to validate how your preparations are going. So I think this is a good resource. Don't quote me on this. I don't know if these are exam dumps. I hope they are not, but I personally haven't used this resource a lot. I just wanted to share that this exists. With that, I wish you luck if you are gonna sit your GitHub actions exam soon. And I hope this video was helpful for you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.